Hey everyone, this is Sten Elias with Crescent City Conjure, your friendly neighborhood conjurman. Today, I want to talk about the subject of the ancestors' role in hoodoo. Um, as of late, there have been some questions about just how important um, our ancestors, African American ancestors, are in the practice of hoodoo. Now, how that's possible, I have no idea, because they, they are hoodoo. They are the only important part of hoodoo, to, to be honest. Um, from them stems the rest of the practice, what they brought over to America during the transatlantic slave trade and how our culture um, communicated with other cultures and how that information was passed forward orally, but also how they still reside in our blood and how they communicate with us about who we are as individuals, how they um, straighten our backs and help us keep our heads straight so that we can overcome some of the oppressions uh, that America offers um, young and old African American men and women. Um, so to answer the question, how important are the ancestors in hoodoo and uh, root work, they are the very reason why we seek results, why um, we can be successful in our work in the first place. Um, they are everything. They are the foundation on which we stand. They are the blood that resides in our veins. They are uh, the spirit that resides in our spirit, behind our spirit. They work with us and through us. Um, and so if you are a young African-American um, person, um, you know, what, what my real gripe is, is that, um, you know, young African-American people aren't really being lifted up and shown the direction that they are supposed to go in. Um, they're not being validated for the communication that they're still having with their ancestors. Um, so what about that? How has hoodoo um, grown with the culture? And yes, hoodoo grows with the culture. So um, I, I want y'all to take a little moment and think about how important that is, how important the blood that was spilled on our behalf is, um, and how we continue to to teach, to share the wisdom of our ancestors with each other, with the wide, wider world and how we're being represented. Um, because there are competing voices out there that would say differently. Um, and it's up to each and every person to decide what is correct for them when what they believe in. What, what do you believe in? So don't take anyone's word for anything. Don't don't um, just accept um, what people say because a lot of it's bullshit. Um, decide what's important to you, and then uh, hold tightly to your ideals. Um, and always bring everything back to your ancestors. Um, in the next video um, that I do, when I do it, who knows? But uh, we'll be talking about ancestor altars and how to build them and how to maintain them. Until next time, guys, this has been Sin Elias. Bye.